In this episode, we're going to be taking a look at the grapevines because a number of you have been asking how well they're growing this year. Well, as you can see, they're going mental. They've already had two prunes this year so far, and we're going to be doing a little bit more about that today. And in this episode, we're going to be looking at about pruning and thinning these vines, and we'll explain a bit more right after this. So guys, as you can see, the vines have gone nuts. We have tendrils all down here. We've got them going up to the ceiling. What I've done with these in the past, I've cut them and we've taken these off. Now, if you plant these on, they will grow. I'm gonna just chuck these down on the floor at the moment. As you can see, a lot of the tops have already been snipped because we wanna try and keep control over this vine. As you can see, it's growing fantastically and we've got bunches and bunches of grapes absolutely everywhere i don't know if you can make this lot out here but there's a problem with that guys all this is supported by two vines that are in the ground outside and the issue we have is if we want decent sized grapes we've got to thin these bunches now as you can see here we have one spur and off that spur here is one bunch of grapes and then just up a bit further is another bunch of grapes. This spur cannot support two bunches of grapes. So we need to remove one of them, which will allow these grapes here uh, the ability to fatten up, okay? So you're sacrificing probably over half the grapes on, on the vine in order to allow the ones that are left to thicken right up. Now on this spur here, we've actually got three lots. So this one back here is a bit weak, so I'm gonna take that off. But again, there's another load of grapes. And there's one above it up here. So we've taken that off as well, leaving just one on that spur. Same with this one here, there's two on this spur. So now there's only one. And we're literally gonna go through finding every spur and removing any excess grapes that are more than that first single bunch. So again, we've got another one here, so we're gonna remove them. So already we've just done a little bit and we've removed this many grapes, guys. It's, um, you know, it's almost disheartening to do, but if you don't, you're not gonna get any crop at all. While we're at it, we're also going to take off and shorten down any of the shoots that have continued growing to keep the vine in check. Like I said, we've got a nice long one here. And what we're doing for that is we are cutting back right to one leaf above and that will shorten that stem. Now anything like this that is long and the leader is dead, we will tie up and we'll continue to carry this across the pole. But as you can see, here we have every single beam now has got grapes growing along it um, and it's just doing really well. So we just need to trace these back to that one bud and trim it off there. And it's gonna take a bit of time. Last time I did it, it took me about an hour. Don't be afraid to cut it because if you don't, you will sacrifice your crop. So that's coming all the way from down here. And this is what we're doing. So we'll end up with a load of stuff all over the floor. It's really hot in here and I've picked the wrong day to be doing this, guys. It is absolutely boiling, but we are gonna continue. So we've got a nice long leader here. We just take it back to this leaf node, cut him off. And we just work all the way up around this branch. So we've got nice single bunches. Anything that's showing two bunches, 
on one spur we need to take out. We're going to lose some grapes as we're manipulating it, but that's the way it is. That's the plant's way of telling us it can't support them all. crying shame in it but there you go that's the way it is um, and if you want grapes you've got to do this I'm gonna take that one out look at that they're gonna be hard and bitter so there's no point trying them it's fine That's looking a little better guys so this is all I'm doing with this okay so as you can see here the original vine stopped back here but now one of the side shoots have been left to go and continue its journey so now we can tie this up which will now continue this vines journey across the rest of the beam and then that will be topped at the end and that will be this structure in place for this beam and that's all it is is a case of waiting for the vine to grow and tying it up with a cable tie guys and not too tight just enough till it starts clicking and that's what it's about it's about managing the vine but once you have this vine it will lignify it'll go woody and once it's gone woody that is your time where you can say right we're done and uh, we can tip it off okay that's got lots of room here eh? so we've tied it off to here now and as you can see it's reached all the way over here we're going to bring it back to this section here and we we're going to snip there that is now cut that tendril has now ended up bringing this vein right across now to that point we just need to put one more tie on here because it's falling a little bit just by here and then this vein will be terminated at that point and that is it now so all we do now next year all this will be nice and woody and each of these axes will shoot off a little node like the rest of them and we will trim it back to just one or two leaf buds and that's what will produce our grapes next year so next year we'll have even more grapes than we've got now now this section here as you can see we've got a couple more running off but we don't need them because we've already got this is what i was on about where they're going woody so we don't need any extensions on this so what we need to do is come right back to a leaf node and take that whole vine out now if you wanted to propagate this guys you could literally come in here trim off all these leaves like this leaving these little buds here and you could literally just come and trim them all off and when you've got something around about that length you could literally just stick that in a pot so that these buds are down in the ground and that would literally create a brand new grapevine for you but we're not going to do that today because I'm not interested in getting any more vines at the moment. So this one's going to come right back to here because we've got grapes on the end of it and we're taking all of this off. Um, and by doing this, it will control the vigor of the grape and also allow more light into the area. As you can see, the tunnel's getting brighter by the moment. And I know I'm working out the 
camera sight at the moment but I'm just on the side here and all I'm doing is taking out things we don't require but guys that's pretty much it as you can see the grapes are doing fantastically um, we still got a lot of grapes to remove and we've still got a lot of tendrils and and pruning to do but that's the basics of it so you want to cut back everything to a couple of leaves after the uh, grapes so as you can see on this one we've got grapes here we've taken it to the leaf after we've cut back and we've left about an inch for die back so it doesn't die back into that node and then we've tied up where we need to tie up but essentially now apart from this very end beam down there every single one of these now has a brand new leader right across to the very end so we've got grapes for the whole of the tunnel i hope this is of interest there is a couple of other things that you need to consider feeding this time of year um they need copious amounts of water guys uh, we've just had a bit of rain but i'm still uh, watering these sort of twice a week and once every week or once every two weeks I'm giving them a, a weak feed of either tomato uh, feed uh, but a weak version okay or some comfrey if you make your own comfrey tea then that's great to give them as well and uh, we do that sort of every sort of two weeks it's really warm in this tunnel at the moment that's why I'm sweating guys so I'm really sorry about that but um, as you can see these vines are just over two years old and look at the grapes that are on them they're fantastic you know it's filled out the whole structure that we wanted and uh, it's also creating a little bit of shade for some of the other plants in the tunnel but as i said as we go through now and prune it back to these little stumps and nodules like this um just leaving the grapes that we require then we are going to have a really good crop and um, the plant is able to put more energy into those grapes because it isn't trying to keep all this foliage alive anyway guys if you like what you've seen don't forget to give us a thumbs up for this video don't forget to click the subscribe button and the bell notification icon and if you haven't already visit us on our facebook groups and i'll be seeing you in the next one bye bye guys